This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. The major in Whitset, and here's a look at some of today's top stories. A 23 year old man accused of killing two men early Sunday called 911 saying he was a date rape drug victim. Mark Henderson is now in jail on a million dollars bond. Prosecutors say he grabbed a high powered rifle, then drove to apartments in Green Township and Northside, determined to shoot and kill two men. This could bring capital murder charges against him. A Walnut Hills woman's in jail on half a million dollars bond charged with murder for a deadly Mount Airy shooting. Prosecutors allege that Lakita Reese shot Gregory Jeffries twice during an argument on February 20th. It was at a home on Hawaiian Terrace. Jeffries' mother was in court during the arraignment this morning arguing for that high bond. Reese is due back in court for the grand jury hearing next week. George Wagner IV expected to appear for a motions hearing, possibly one of the last before a new August trial date. Wagner, his parents and his brother were charged in the Pike County massacre from April 2016. George and his father Billy pled not guilty. George's younger brother Jake Wagner, as well as his mother Angela, both pled guilty for their roles in the murders. And the Cincinnati Public School Board will reconsider its mask requirement at a meeting that starts at 630 tonight. Last week they held a similar discussion but did not make a decision about the policy. Right now everyone must wear a mask inside a CPS building. We will let you know immediately if there has been a change to that policy. Let's get you out the door now. Here's Jen. Well, today the temperature continues to fall. This is colder air coming in and yes, we may have started the day in the low 60s, but that is absolutely not how we end it this afternoon. We will be slipping into the low 40s on average, a lot of cloud cover and there are still some slight chances for precipitation. You can see it here on future view and while it's an isolated rain chance in the early afternoon by this evening, we might even get a few isolated snow showers with this northwest flow. It picks up some of that lake effect moisture out there. Now, nothing huge out of this, but coming up, we need to talk about warm ups and another big crash in temperatures that could even come with its own snow chance in that extended outlook.